Hi guys, practice lab. In this video, I am going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by Infosys. The candidate had around five years of experience working as a Java developer, and apart from Java, he was having knowledge about writing REST APIs, Spring Boot, and basics of microservices as well. When he solved this problem statement in two different ways, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 15 MPA. Now, let me tell you what was the problem statement and how to solve it in two different ways. The problem statement was he was given a list of numbers, something like this, and he was asked to find the minimum number from this given list, maximum number from this given list, average of all the numbers in the list, sum of all the numbers in the list, and then count the number of elements available in that list. So here you can see 10 is the smallest number in the list. So this means should be 10. 50 is the largest number in this list. So max should be 50. The average of all these numbers is 30. So it should print 30. Sum of all these numbers is 150. So it should print sum as 150. And there are total five elements. So it should print count as five. Okay. So let me show you how to do this in two different ways. Let me share my screen and skip it. So here you can see I have written a class, calculate operations, and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now let me declare a list of type integer because I'm going to hold all the numbers. So here it is going to be a list of integers, and I'm going to initialize that list with the numbers which are there in problem statement. So let me copy these numbers 10, 20, 30, and 40, 50. Okay, so I copied this list numbers. So I got the list of numbers. Then I need to <clears throat> convert these numbers into stream API or stream using stream function. So numbers or stream function will be used to convert these numbers into stream. And then as these are the numbers, I need an int stream to perform the further option. So that, that I'm going to use map to int function. And here I'm going to use integer dot int value to get the integer stream int stream out of these numbers and then i need to use min function to find the minimum value so i will get the minimum value and then i need to convert this into an integer value so i will use get as int function which will give me this minimum value in a uh, int type of variable so here i need to use int main equal to numbers dot stream dot map to int dot min function will be used to find the minimum number and get as int will determine the integer value okay same way i need to find the maximum number so i'm going to repeat this same code till here and then i'm going to use max function to find the maximum number from this list and then again i need to use get as int to get this value into a int type of variable okay so i got this min and max number then i need to find the average of all the numbers so here again i am going to use this same code till here i'll just print this and then dot i will use average function this time i will get average of all the numbers and this will be written as a optional double so instead of that i need to use a double value so i will use get as double function so i'll get this value into a double type of variable so let me declare a variable of double type and store the average of all these numbers into this variable now i need to find the sum of all numbers so again i'm going to use same code from here till here and then use sum function to find the sum of all the numbers. So this sum will determine an int type of variable. So I will simply store this into an int type of variable. Next thing is I need to find the count of number of elements which are available in this list. So I'm going to use numbers dot stream function to convert that numbers into a stream and uh, then i'm going to use count function which will give me count of all the numbers and this is going to return me a long type of variable so i'm going to use long type of variable to store the count of all the numbers so i got the 
minimum maximum average sum and count of all the numbers now let me print these numbers to see how the mean is this mean okay simply i will copy this so here i'm going to print the max number then i'm going to print average of all the numbers then i'm going to print sum of all the numbers and then finally i'll print the count of all the numbers here i need to pass the count then sum then average then max okay so i have written a code to print all these numbers now let me run and show you how it works okay so here you can see we have got minimum as 10 maximum as 50 average as 30 sum is 150 and count of all number is 5 so this is what we are expecting so this is a way to solve this problem but let us consider i need don't need to write all these functions to find all these statistics so instead of that i'm going to use statistics which is available in uh, stream apis so i will just comment out this code and then i will write a code to show you how to do this using summary statistics so first thing i need to convert this in stream api so i'm going to convert this numbers list into stream using stream function and then i'm going to use map to int to get the int stream out of these numbers so I'm going to use integer colon colon int value this will give me the int stream and then there is a function which will give me the summary of all the statistics so here is that function so summary statistics will may return int summary statistics so i'll simply declare a variable of type int summary statistics and i will declare this variable as stats okay so i got the summary of all the statistics so the next thing is i need to get the minimum number out of the statistics so again i will declare a variable int main equal to stats dot get me so here i will get the minimum number same way i'll get the max number so that will i will store it into max variable so stats dot get max so again this will give me a integer type of variable then i need to find the average so stats dot get average will give me a double type of variable or double type of uh, data so i'll use double type of variable to store the average of all these numbers then i will use stats dot get some function to get the sum of all these numbers and it is returning me a long type of variable so i will store this into a long time of variable and then stats dot get count will return me the count of all these numbers so this is again a type of long data so here i will get the count of all these numbers so what we did here here we converted that numbers list into a stream using num st uh, stream function then we used map to int function to get the int stream for all the numbers and then use summary statistics to get the summary of all these statistics and simply i will copy this and paste it here and i will uncomment this and simply print the values which are there in these variables okay so let me run this java code and show you the output so again you can see i am getting the same output which was getting earlier by using different different functions Okay, guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That will motivate us to create more videos like. Also, you can share your experience with us on practicelab23 at gmail.com. Or if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can let us know at practicelab23 at gmail.com. Yeah, that's it from this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.